Why did you pick New York? And because of this? Because, yeah, because, uh, I don't know. I mean, the, the, because the music scene there and the whole thing just seemed very, uh, it seemed very different from Washington, D.C., which is where, you know, where we, were, we were all from Washington, which has a great, great music scene, but it's just much smaller, and whereas New York seemed more worldly. It's, it just seemed like it was a, it was a really hard place. It was a, it's an odd choice. It's not an easy place to start a band. You know, it's not an easy place to do anything. So maybe we, I think we like the challenge of it in a way. And we like that. And also we like the idea that we could, um, we were all part of the DC music scene was on, on Discord records and stuff like that. But beforehand, I think we kind of wanted to just like shed our skin a bit and just like, not because we didn't like anything about it, but just shed our skin, just chance to grow, chance to change in a new place and see what might come out. So what we, and the city had a very, very um, similar effect on all of us. You know, we were we were all in our in our early twenties, and um, I think we kind of we were all like really into living there and how exciting it was. And we kind of, with the music, kind of went about making almost like a soundtrack to our our lives, or a soundtrack to what we imagined our lives to be like. You know, or what we what we imagined we wanted them to be like. So it was like, and that's one of the things. I mean, in New York, it might sound kind of silly, but it's like you. It's, it is a city that, that that can drive your ambitions, you know, both in a good and a bad way, you know. So it's, I think it drove us in a way. To, it drives you to kind of try to stand out from the crowd, you know, because it's quite a big crowd. You know, you need you need to uh, do something to kind of, uh, you know, um, you know, get some of the light on you or something. You know, what I mean, to kind of kind of break out of the pack, and um, and that's always like that that kind of healthy comp. I've always viewed that as a kind of healthy competition, you know, trying to. Uh, um, trying to do something new in a, in, a, in a place or new for you and and uh, and uh, you know, just those challenges it was a big challenge for all of us and and uh, what was it for you what 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 made you or the band and then finally well stick out from the crowd when did you know I think I I, I knew when we basically um, I knew that when we, rec we recorded the first record we did for Touch and Go, which was called Venus Luxury Number One Baby in 1993, I knew that we were doing something kind of special. You know, I didn't know what it really. I, I mean, I just thought it sounded cool, but it, but I, but I wasn't. I was kind of. We had taken a big turn because we just that record in particular showed a new sound for the for the four of us playing together. I think a lot of that came from New York. A lot of that came from like. Taking taking the band more seriously, number one, because New York is a kind of professional place to you know to be do, you know to be doing things, and number two, it's a noisier city. We felt like we wanted to be louder a little bit, you know, just kind of matching the vibe of the city a bit. And that record seemed to capture a lot about the soundtrack to you know what we felt like we were living. You know, the lyrics kind of discuss some of the things that you you know sort of the. Um, Yeah, maybe the ambitions of like you know, a young person living in New York and you know just like wanting to uh, wanting to achieve something. You know? Is there one song that you can revisit now that that is for you the ultimate then of this album, the world of song that captures for you the time? Yeah, from that I'd say from that album definitely would be Venus Luxure. I'd say it's um, it's a song called Bulletproof Cupid. It's like a, it's like a song called Bulletproof Cupid. It's like a, it's it's kind of a um, it's a big you know driving kind of panoramic track, and it just sort of talks about you know um, what are the lyrics? Um, well, the first lyrics, one of the first lines is every everybody want everybody wants to live that sexy ride, you know, and it's just like a. Um, It's those kind of things. It's kind of New York has a swagger and a slogan kind of thing, and you know, New York, a dollar and a dream, and everybody. It's all these desires and shiny things everywhere, and it's like you know. So you kind of go and you want to, you sort of chase all these shiny things around, and it's like, um, it just always it, 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 that always appealed to me. That thing of just sort of, it's really an identity thing. You're trying to find yourself as a, as a young person, you know. <laughs> 